Jeremy and uh, the, all the coordinators of this program. So it's a wonderful program that uh, we are having. That uh, the topic being the chariots of devotion to glorify Lord Jagannath. So many of you, many of you must be devotees of Lord Jagannath from your birth. Many of you must be from Odisha or from around Odisha. So you must be knowing about Jagannath. Till now, many topics have been covered. So today we will be discussing about the devotees of Lord Jagannath. So because Jagannath is special, so the devotees of Lord Jagannath is are also special. So if you see this process of bhakti or the process of devotion, as the topic has been named, chariots of devotion. So this devotion is actually a, a relationship between the devotee and the Lord. So if we want to talk about the Lord, we cannot exclude the devotees, right? So the relationship, like uh, we talk about Sanatan Dharma. So Sanatan Dharma is what? The soul. We are the soul. Every living entity is actually a soul, as Krishna tells in Bhagavad Gita. So every living entity is a soul. And the soul is eternal. The Lord is eternal. And the relationship between the Lord and soul is eternal. So that's why the relationship between the devotee and Lord is very, very special. And it is beyond any relationship to the body. Because the relation, any relationship in terms of body can be interrupted at any point of time. And finally, it is interrupted by the death. But the relationship between devotee and the Lord is very special and very eternal. It is eternal. So uh, like Krishna tells, like uh, he tells that uh, like Chula Prabhupada in Srimad Bhagavatam, he writes a statement that the worship of a devotee is better than the worship of the Lord. So if you see Bhagavad Gita, Krishna could have himself killed all the, uh, all, all the warriors on the battlefield, but he chose Arjuna because he wanted to glorify uh, Arjuna, who is his devotee. So he is riding the chariot of Arjuna. So because the because he's a because Krishna or Jagannath is known as Bhakta Vatsal. So today we'll be discussing about some devotees. We have some time till three, three o'clock. We'll be discussing about some devotees. So first of all, I would like to talk about uh, one of the most famous devotees of Lord Jagannath, known as Salabeg. So he is a very very special devotee of Lord Jagannath. And if you see in Odisha, we hear so many bhajans written by Salabhik. Like we hear this song, Ahe Nila Saila Prabhala Matta Bharana Prabhala Matta Bharana Muarata Nali Miku Kari Thile Dhalana So from your childhood, many of you would have heard this bhajan, right? So, uh, so this bhajan is written by none other than Salabeg. So we'll know something about Salabeg, who he is. So when, uh, during the medieval times, so the Mughals had started ruling all over India. So one such Mughal commander was sent from Delhi to attack Urissa. And the kingdom of Odisha, the, at that time was the king of Puri used to stay in Katak not in Puri, because in Puri, the king of uh, the king would stay like a servant because he knows the real master is Jagannath. So the kingdom, the palace of the king of Puri would be in Katak. So, uh, so from Katak once this Mughal commander having, uh, having conquered Urissa, he was coming towards Puri to attack, to, to build up some kind of attack. So when he was coming to Puri and when he was going back, so uh, he saw a very beautiful lady, very beautiful lady. Uh, she was a Brahmin, uh, Brahmin girl and she was just going to take bath. bath. So seeing that girl, he, this, uh, this commander whose name was Lal Beg, yeah, so he was so, uh, he, he was so mesmerized by her beauty that, she, uh, that he immediately thought of capturing that lady. But she is a Brahmin girl. So how can she be unchaste? So, so this Lalbeg, he forcibly, he uh, captured and took 
so that girl's name was Lalita, and he took Lalita to uh, Katak, to where his palace was located. So uh, this, uh, so this Lal, so this Lalbek, he forced Lalita that you marry me. So Lalita, being a Brahmin girl, how can she marry Lalbek? So he told, she told, I can never marry you. So, so this Lalbek kept on pursuing her, pursuing her, pursuing her, and at last. This girl agreed, and she put a condition that I will marry you, but in one condition, that you, uh, you will never stop my devotion to Jagannath. So this Lalbek, because he was very lusty, he was he just wanted to enjoy Lalita. So he told, okay, fine, anything. So I'll build you a temple of Jagannath. You worship her, worship him, but you be my wife. So Lalita agreed. So Lalita went ahead, and he got married. And in due course of time, they had a child, a very beautiful child. And that boy's name, that boy's name was put as Salabeg. So this Lalbeg, because he was a Mughal commander, he wanted that his son be a very great commander like him. So he trained him from the childhood, and he would take him for some incursions wherever some kind of battle would be there. So one such as this boy grew to a uh, like. Teenage or little older than that, he started taking him to battles. So in one such battle, this Lalbeg was very grievously injured, and so was Salbeg. So Lalbeg he lost his life, and Salbeg was brought back home. So he was so grievously injured that all the Vaidyas and everyone they were trying to cure Lalbeg, Salbeg, but the days passed, months passed. But the, those injuries were not getting cured. They were not getting healed. Rather, they were they were getting they were like uh, oozing with lot of pus. And the the vaidyas they gave up. They told that we cannot cure this person. He is going to die. So the Salbeg, having lost his father and is just going to lose his life. So he, he was very helpless. And he helplessly then he confided with his mother that my mother, my dear mother, I am going to die. So what can I do? So this mother, for the first time, he revealed his actual identity, her actual identity to his son. And he told, my dear son, I am not a Muslim girl. Rather, I am a devotee of Jagannath. And if you really want to become cured from all these injuries, then you have to worship Jagannath. He is the protector of fallen. He is Pati Pavan. If he can help, then you may be saved. Like in, uh, we know there is there is a saying that Rakhe Krishna Mare ke, Mare Krishna Rakhe ke. If Krishna or Jagannath wants to kill someone, who can protect him? And if Jagannath wants to save someone, who can kill him? So this, so so this Salve, so this then uh, Lalita brought a deity of Jagannath in front of him, or this small deity, and he told that you meditate on this form and you worship, you worship him. And you chant his names. He told that he is also Krishna, so you can chant his name. You can chant Jagannath's name. So this because uh, because like बोलते हैं ना हिंदी में बोलते हैं कि डूबते को तिनका का सहारा. A person who is just going to die, he would be ready to do anything. So this Salve then started worshiping Jagannath with full faith, having got that faith from his mother. He started worshiping, chanting his names. And one fine day, after some days of worshiping, he had a dream. And in that dream, he sees that some very dark complexioned person comes, and he just touches his body, and goes away. So, and Salve wakes up, and when he wakes up, he sees that all his injuries of his body were gone away, and he was completely hell and hell and healthy. So he was stunned. He was stunned, and his faith in Lord Jagannath increased like anything. Then he went to his mother and he told, "Ki, my dear mother, what you have given me? It's it's a, such a great. Uh, I could I just can't believe that I am now saved. I I I would should have died actually. So then mother told, "Ki, so uh, so then then Salve got a great desire that I want to see Jagannath." But but as we know, the custom of Jagannath Temple is that people, devotees of people of other religions are not allowed. So Salve, when he came to know that, he was very saddened. Then he told to his mother, "Mother, I want to see. I want to see Lord." 
so please tell me something about your lord who is this jagannath from from about whom i never came to know from my child so then mother told ki see jagannath is none other than krishna he is vrajendra nandan he is he is he is uh, from the land of vrindavan so then he started telling everything about jagannath everything about krishna so hearing all these things then salve got a great desire of going to vrindavan so and uh, see so told me see in jagannath puri i cannot take darshan of lord jagannath but i can go to vrindavan and take darshan of uh, krishna there so then uh, he then both mother and son they leave for vrindavan so in those days there were no means of uh, going so they walked the whole way whole from so from that point onwards salvik started composing all these bhajans so he started composing bhajans and started singing those prayers so all the way mother and son they would go and chant these bhajans and they would just beg some alms for eating and they would they would proceed towards vrindavan and when when he reached vrindavan so salve was so delighted by seeing vrindavan because that time vrindavan was extremely be- beautiful like in one of the bhajans it is told ki ujjata kokila hamsa sarasa gana kirne mayura kule nana ratna nibaddha mula bitaba hamsa sarasa gane so vrindavan was beautified by so many beautiful birds so nice forest everything was vrindavan was filled with natural beauty at that time so uh, so salve being in vrindavan he was so delighted but then he then he came to understand from his mother that jagannath will come out once in a year for rath yatra and if you want to meet if you want to take darshan of jagannath then you have to go for rath yatra so then uh, salve was on a fix so he had to leave vrindavan and in due course of time his mother left body so his mother left body in the holy dham of vrindavan just imagine what the, what was her good fortune because she, because she was such a great devotee of jagannath that she got to leave her body in vrindavan so anyone who leaves his body is or her, her body in vrindavan surely goes goes back to golok vrindavan to krishna so so salve was now alone and he started returning back to uh, puri to take darshan of jagannath uh, for in rath yatra so when he was returning because we know that rath yatra comes in june so the preceding months were of summer so when the summer was going on and salvik was returning back so he was because of the heat and all those things he was terribly ill and he his, he was very slowly able to proceed towards uh, jagannath puri and he could understand that i will not be able to reach jagannath puri in time to take darshan of uh, Jag- uh, jagannath so he felt very helpless and at that time he composed many prayers and he prayed fervently to jagannath and that time he composes this prayer ki sat sa pachas kosa chali na parai mu ji bajaye nandi ghuse ti burahi so he prays that now it's 750 kosas so it's around 700 800 miles away from jagannath puri so i am so far i know i will not be able to reach so my dear lord jagannath i am such a sinful person that in once in a year i get to take your darshan and if i will not be able to reach i will not be able to take darshan so please my dear lord please stay in the chariot so very fervently he prays and when he prays so 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 so, so jagannath rath yatra went and we know that bahuda comes so the rath comes back to uh, the main temple so when this rath was returning back to main temple so both baladev's and subhadra maharani's rath they go ahead to the main temple but jagannath ji's rath gets just stand still there in one of the in between one of the places and no one could understand why it is standing still so and then it stands stand stands and in and then when salve reaches back to puri then everyone understands that it is because of this person this devotee this great devotee salve that uh, the rath was standing and then salve takes darshan with great delight and he prays and then gradually he he just sits there 
and he keeps on composing many many uh, bhajans for the pleasure of lord jagannath and gradually so when he was just about to leave his body so he prays to lord and then lord asks ki what you want what do you want should i should i give you some wealth should i give you some kingdom should i give you some uh, very valuable things so he tells no i don't want anything he tells that i just want two and half feet land in this sarada land actually uh, actually the place where now we see this great grand road before there used to be a river known as, known as sradha so that, uh, that so that river used to be there so this uh, so salbeg prays that i just want two and half feet land on this sradha river so i may i may be buried here so so jagannath wants why 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 you want uh, to be buried there only so then salbeg to it tells that every year you will come and you will pass through this road on the chariot and you will pass over and then every year you will come back through this path and you will pass over me again so 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 jagannath was so mesmerized by his devotion and then his samadhi is kept there in uh, that balagandi road that place is still there and every year when whenever rath yatra happens jagannath ji's rath stops there and uh, for aarti and all uh, in salbeg's samadhi and uh, so so it was such a great life and because of his great devotion and his prayers were filled with humility because because see actually devotion to lord cannot be achieved through some intellect it cannot be achieved by that it is told in uh, in christianity there is a statement that only the meek and humble can inherit the kingdom of god so salbeg's songs were filled with humility so he would tell ki uh, uh he would like in many of his bhajans he would conclude that kahe sal bega hi na jatir mujabana sri ranga charana binu na jana hi ana so he would tell ki see i am so fallen kahe sal bega hi na jatir mujaban i am i am very lowly because i am from a muslim family and i don't have any other shelter other than lord jagannath shelter so like that he would many many so- songs he would uh, uh he like one of his famous songs is like this bhak eka hi to bhakata jivana so it actually emphasizes that how the devotee is actually so dear to lord jagannath he tells ki bhakat to mata pita bhakat to bandhu भक्त मनते तोरा नाम कृपा सिंधु नाम कृपा सिंधु सो लाइक दिस ही वेरी ब्यूटिफुली डिस्क्राइब्स द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन अ डिवोटी एंड द लॉर्ड सो मेनी मेनी थिंग्स कुड बी सेड अबाउट लॉर्ड अबाउट सालबे बट बिकॉज ऑफ टाइम कंस्टेंट आई जस्ट गो हेड टू द नेक्स्ट डिवोटी सो द नेक्स्ट डिवोटी वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट इज so we'll talk about one more very special devotee dasya bauri so this dasya bauri uh, so he is very famous because he comes from a like salbeg he comes from a very low family but you will see that devotees of jagannath or krishna need not be from very high families krishna or jagannath doesn't uh, uh, generalize that a devotee should be from a brahman family or devotee should be from a kshatriya family should be a king he should be anything the main thing krishna wants is our devotion like that's why it is told ki bhav grahi janardan so this dasya bauri so he was like a hand weaver both husband and wife they were hand weavers so they would do this and wo uh, hand weaving karte the and uh, and gradually he, uh, he so once it happens that some devotees were going for uh, taking darshan of uh, lord jagannath during rath yatra so this dasya bauri he also goes he goes and uh, uh, he, uh, he so he gets a chance to hold, pull the chariots of lord jagannath so he pulls the chariot and when he pulls the chariot he is filled so much with devotion because by taking darshan of lord and uh, by seeing uh, the chariots he is filled with so much devotion his life just gets transformed there 
and when he comes back everywhere he just sees jagannath so like when he comes back he's just chanting the name of jagannath and uh, when his wife he she serves the food serves the dinner in front of uh, dasya bauri so uh, so dasya bauri in the plate also he sees jagannath the, the, like this in the green leafy banana jaise kele ka patta rehta hai kele ke patte mein unko saag सर्व किया जाता है वो काला वाला साग सर्व किया जाता है तो उसको देख के दासी और इतना एक्सटेसिंग आ जाते हैं ही गेट्स इनटू सच एक्सटैटिक मोड ही जस्ट डांसेस ही जस्ट डांसेस जय जगन्नाथ जय जगन्नाथ जय जगन्नाथ ही जस्ट डांसेस एंड बाय एंड सीइंग दिस हिज वाइफ गेट्स टेरिफाइड यार ये क्या हो गया इसको देन ही कॉल्स ऑल द पीपल विद हुम ही हैड गॉन टू जगन्नाथ पुरी एंड दिस पीपल दे टेल की ही रिमूव रिमूव दिस साग बिकॉज़ इन दिस साग ही सीइंग जगन्नाथ यू रिमूव दिस साग फ्रॉम हियर सो ही शी रिमूव्स so then dasya bauri sits down and takes prasad and like this one day he was going uh, he was going to sell his clothes jo bhi wo apna kapda seethe the usko kapde ko leke bechne ke liye jate so when he goes so in one of bram uh, in one of the homes he sees on the tree on the coconut tree he sees the first coconut coming out so he he seeing this immediately he remembers yeah i should offer it to jagannath see this is the symptom of a devotee that a devotee whatever he sees he feels that i should offer it to lord so then he immediately requests the person that can you please give me this coconut then he told no no, no why should i give you this coconut so then dasya bauri he, uh, he gives that cloth whatever cloth he had brought for selling he gives it to him and he takes those, those coconuts and he takes those coconuts and he gives to some हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा एवरीवन प्लीज वेट वी थिंक दैट प्रभु जी हैज बीन डिस्कनेक्टेड फ्रॉम अस ड्यू टू सम टेक्निकल हरे कृष्णा जस्ट बैक yeah hari krishna prabhu ji uh, prabhu ji is yeah. back we can we can listen from him hari krishna okay so i was just telling so i'll just continue the part of dasya bauri so this dasya bauri so he had sent this coconuts for jagannath and he specifically told that you should stand at the garuda stump and from there only you should offer this coconuts to jagannath and if he takes there you give otherwise you bring it back to me so that is the level of devotion that he had the confidence he had in jagannath so this uh, devotees they take and uh, they offer this uh, coconuts there and from there jagannath he comes brings his hand and he takes those coconuts and these coconuts go away so like that he his devotion was there so so li- like this this so dasya bauri was a very famous devotee of lord and so uh, because time is limited i'll just go to one more devotee very very special devotee like uh, Uh, you would like to know about him so this devotee was named as jaydev goswami goswami so he is a very very famous uh, acharya so uh, uh, many of you must have must have heard about this dasavatar stotra that this dasavatar stotra is written by jaydev goswami so this jaydev goswami he was uh, he appeared on this earth around around 1300 uh, ad that time around some some around that time so his father was named as bhojdev and his mother was named bamadev so he appeared there is a little bit uh, confusion whether he appeared in bengal or odisha but nonetheless he 
his parents were great devotees of jagannath so because they were not having any child so they were praying to jagannath ki oh lord please give give us some child i would uh, we would like to have a child because family means they would like to have a child so uh, by blessings of jagannath so this boy was born and he was so brilliant uh, as a boy itna chote se he was very beautiful very effulgent boy so this uh, uh, bhojdev and so they name this boy, boy as jaydev jaydev means jay like we tell na jay jagannath so jaydev because bhagwan ye dev dev ke jo jagannath dev ki kripa se ye jaydev aaye so he is named as jaydev so this jaydev was very effulgent and very 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 uh, from his childhood only he was very devoted very devoted and rarely he would go for playing and all those things he was never he, his life was completely dedicated towards lord and everyone was knowing that this boy will be a very very great devotee so like this so uh, so so first of all he writes this dasavatar stotra so when he writes this dasavatar stotra so one of the kings of bengal he he becomes so attracted seeing this dasavatar stotra that he invites this uh, he thinks of inviting jaydev to his uh, to his kingdom to recite this dasavatar stotra so so his minister tells ki you don't go to go to this jaydev if you go to this jaydev then in the king's dress he will never come because he is not attracted by this wealth and all he is attracted only by devotion to lord so so the, this king he goes in a very ordinary dress to jaydev and he tells ki my dear jaydev please uh, I, i have come to meet you so he tells like this but this jaydev goswami he immediately understands that he is a king he is not ordinary person he tells ki uh, although i you seem to be wearing very general clothes but you seem you i can understand that you are a king so this uh, iska pura plan chopat ho gaya then he tells ki yes jaydev goswami i am i am a very small king in the nearby kingdom so please come there and you stay uh, with us so jaydev goswami tells no i will not do i am not interested in all those things i am interested only in worshiping jagannath so this so like this it happens so when so how this how jaydev goswami gets his wife is also very special story so there was a person named sudev sharma and he was also not getting a child for long time so he came and prayed to jagannath he told ki my dear lord jagannath if you give me a child then i will offer that child back to you it is for your service i am asking a child so i if i get a boy i will offer him as a pujari if i get a girl then i will offer him as a devdasi to your temple like you must be knowing that in front of jagannath ji many devdasis they perform dance for the pleasure of lord jagannath so this uh, so this uh, uh, so this uh, uh, so so in due course of time so so what happens this sudev sharma he he doesn't have anything because he such a poor brahmana he doesn't have anything to offer to jagannath except for a lotus so he tells ki my dear lord i don't have anything else but i am just offering you this lotus so please hear my hear my uh, request and please bless us so uh, by lord jagannath's blessing so gradually so in due course of time he gets a girl and because by offering a lotus to lord he gets that girl so he names that girl as padmavati so 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 that girl was very beautiful very effulgent so uh, when this girl becomes of manageable age so uh, so uh, this sudev sharma he comes back and he offers this girl to jagannath so uh, when she was just he when he was just going to offer this girl to sudev sharma and to jagannath ji so jagannath ji comes in his dream and he tells ki i don't need this girl you need not offer this girl to me but i will tell you whom you should get him get her married to. so he to jagannath ji told ki see there will be a very uh, very great devotee of mine who is just staying outside the temple and if you just go near him he will always be chanting my glories he will just always be uh, singing about me writing about me so you meet him and his name is jaydev you go and you get, give your daughter as daughter as daughter in marriage to him so when 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 uh, this girl when this father he goes and he approaches jaydev so 
um, so so jaydev jaydev goswami was initially completely no i will not take this take your girl as uh, my wife i will not marry so he was he was like completely no no but so in the night time he takes rest and uh, the father of the girl he just leaves this uh, girl there and he goes there goes away so when jaydev wakes up he sees that uh, this girl is there then he told no no you should not be here you go back to your father then he he gets a spurti from lord jagannath ji jagannath ji tells ki see this girl is not an ordinary girl he will she will help you in your devotional service so like this both jaydev goswami jaydev goswami and padmavati they come together so this jaydev goswami was very famous for writing geet govinda as many of you must have heard that this geet govinda is extremely dear to lord jagannath so jagannath ji like so now we'll hear some incidences how this uh, geet govind is so dear to lord jagannath because this geet govind uh, jaydev goswami was jaydev goswami kept on writing till the last till his last breath so he just kept on writing so but this geet govind was extremely dear to lord jagannath so once it happens that uh, some few robbers had gone to uh, chori karne ke liye gaye the so they had gone to a temple so from there they steal a lot of gold and silver and they bring back and when they see that when they come back to their own places this they just want to see ki kya kya humne chori kiya hai so jab wo dekhte hain ki kya kya unhone chori kiya hai to usme se ek patthar nikalta hai wo ek kala patthar nikalta hai so seeing this they think ki are what will do of this patthar so they give this patthar in uh, patthar to a cobbler ek mochi ko de dete तो फिर वो मोची क्या करता है तो मोची क्या करता है वो पत्थर को लेके अपना जूता 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 बनाने में वो लग जाता है लग जाता है एक दिन क्या होता है वंस इट सो हैपेंस दैट अ ब्राह्मणा वाज पासिंग थ्रू दैट प्लेस एंड ही सीज दैट दिस मोची वाज होल्डिंग अ ब्लैक स्टोन एंड ही वाज डूइंग ऑल दिस मेकिंग द शूज एंड रिपेयरिंग द शूज एंड ऑल दिस थिंग्स so when he sees he becomes stunned he he sees that this stone is nothing else than saligram like all of you must be knowing that saligram is directly lord vishnu there is no need of installation you get okay, so that stone is actually found in nepal in gandaki river so it is very it is like it is worshipable like it is directly you can worship jaise hum vigraha dekhte hain mandiron mein it has to be installed but saligram doesn't need any installation it is directly lord vishnu so seeing this so this brahmana was taken aback and he tells this uh, uh, he tells this cobbler ki are kya kar rahe ho ye saligram hai murkh ho kya tum kya kar rahe ho so this uh, so this cobbler was taken aback he told how do i know that this is saligram so so this brahmana he takes away this saligram from him and he takes to his home he starts worshiping him worshiping saligram with lot of joy so uh, what happens he he gets a dream he gets a dream and lord jagannath came comes in his dream and he tells ki ki my dear brahmana i want to your worship is fine it's fine but i want to go back to that uh, cobbler then this uh, then this brahmana tells ki my dear lord why what what is so wrong in my worship that you just go want to go back to this cobbler so this so then lord tells ki see you are worshiping nicely but this cobbler would, would sing geeto govinda every time and for me geet govind is more dearer than anything so then uh, so then this brahmana was brahmana became so ashamed and he gave, took that uh, saligram sila and went and gave it to this uh, cobbler and he told him that you worship nice don't use it for this making shoes and all so like uh, so like so when the devotees there in jagannath puri understood that this uh, geet govind is so dear to jagannath so they so they decided that we'll make a cloth of geet govind and uh, we'll pura uh, usme hum inscribe karke usko fir jagannath ji ke charo taraf dhakenge so then lord will be very pleased so then jaydev goswami uh, was called that you dictate the entire geet govind we'll inscribe it in the cloth so that it can be wrapped around lord jagannath so when jaydev goswami was reciting this geet govind to be inscribed on that cloth in between he becomes wo aise past time ko yaad karte hain ki wo pura samadhi mein chale jate he becomes completely unconscious so these people they are 
देर टू इंस्क्राइब इट ऑन द क्लोथ तो फिर सोचते क्या करेंगे अभी अभी कैसे इंस्क्राइब करेंगे सो देन देन अ वेरी डार्क डार्क कॉम्प्लेक्शन ब्राह्मणा कम्स एंड इज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल एंड ही टेल्स की आप लोग टेंशन मत लो आई विल टेल आई विल टेल सो देन दिस पीपल टेल की हाउ विल यू नो इट इज ओनली कम्पोज बाय जयदेव गोस्वामी ही ओनली नोज कैसे कैसे होता है देन ही टेल्स डोंट वरी आई एम इज एल्डर ब्रदर एंड माई नेम इज कृष्ण देव सो आई नो द एंटायर गीतु गोविंद एंड आई हेल्प यू डोंट वरी so then so actually that uh, dark complexion brahmana was none other than lord jagannath who had come to help his devotee inscribe it for him taki wo abhi bhi jagannath puri mein wo kapde mein gita govind likha rehta hai aur usko jagannath ji ke charo taraf lapette hain so one more incident is there ki once it so happens that people and people think ki are ye gita govind sab emotional hai ye sentimentalism hai bekar hai तो इसको कुछ जरूरत नहीं है बंद कर दो गीत गोविंद गाना सो बाकी सब वर्शिप अच्छा चल रहा था जगन्नाथपुरी में जगन्नाथ जी के लिए सिर्फ ये गीत गोविंद गाना बंद हो गया था जगन्नाथ जगन्नाथ जी के लिए तो एक दिन क्या होता है कि जब पट खुलता है तो प, सब प, जो पंडास रहते हैं वो पूरा चौंक जाते हैं कि अरे ये क्या हो गया जगन्नाथ जी के सारे कपड़े फटे हुए रहते हैं मिट्टी लगा हुआ रहता है चारों पूरा अंदर जो गर्भगृह रहता है उसमें सब मिट्टी वगैरह गिरा रहता है So they were stunned. Yeah, what happened? So when King comes to know about that, so King's King orders that all these pandas, all these pandas, they are not worshipping Jagannath. Jagannath Puri. 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 Jagannath he tells ki my dear king there is no mistake on the part of this pandas it is fine but because, but but because now they have stopped singing this geet govind for me that's why i am i am now very sad and what is happening nearby a garden there is a gardener and us gardener that gardener has a daughter and the daughter sings geet govind every night so i am so eager to hear this geet govind that i cannot restrain myself i have to go every time i have to go there every time and this time it so happened that when they were just opening the pot i had to rush back to the garvagriha so 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 hearing this then everyone became so ashamed and again it uh, they called that girl that who was singing there and they called that girl and again they started the ritual of uh, singing geetu govinda so like this so actually what is so special about geetu govinda because actually it contains the love of jayadev goswami for lord jagannath so that's why jagannath ji is so mesmerized by this singing of geetu govinda and every day they sing like just like this uh, salvegs bhajans so uh, geetu govinda is sung uh, every day for the pleasure of lord jagannath so so i think it's 3 o'clock somya somya darshan to so is it uh, is there any more time hari krishna hari krishna hari krishna prabhu ji yeah this yes. time uh, this time was scheduled up to 255 yeah, but if you can you can continue up to 10 minutes more okay is it okay if i continue till 10 minutes more yes prabhu ji okay so there is just one last past time one last devotee would like to know so there was this king purushottam dev so this is a very very famous and instructive past time for us for our lives also for so this king purushottam dev he uh, he was a very famous king very uh, very powerful king so uh, there was one more king of kanchi so this king had a very beautiful daughter again named padmavati so this padmavati name is very special i think so again and again it is coming in the past times of lord jagannath so so this king of kanchi he wanted to get his daughter married to purushottam dev so so everything was set and the marriage was going to go ahead 
so once it so happens that the minister of this king of kanchi he comes to visit purushottam dev and when he comes to visit purushottam dev so that time this rath yatra was going on and as all of you know that the king of puri he takes a very humble role and he takes up the role, service of grooming the chariots of both all jagannath ji baldev subhadra marani so he grooms the chariots and the roads also so seeing this this minister he 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 is like uh, he got, gets a culture shock and then he goes back to his kingdom and he informs this king that my dear king why do you want to get your daughter married to this bhangi this sweeper this street sweeper why do you get why do you want to get your daughter married to this per, this person so then the king also understand hey kya ho gaya how can i get my daughter married to this lowly person i'll search someone else so he breaks up the relationship so when he breaks up the relationship so this so the king purushottam dev he takes it as a great insult for jagannath he tells ki how can you think that service to lord jagannath is any ordinary service it's a special service it is it is actually our privilege as kings to groom the chariots of jagannath so understanding this uh, so understanding this so then uh, he takes it as a personal insult and he tells that i will take a revenge from this king of kanchi then he declares war against the king of kanchi and he tells uh, and he tells ki if if uh, we will win then we will bring your ganesh there is a ganesh in kanchi so we will bring your ganesh and worship him behind our lord jagannath and if we lose we will see so like this he declares he declares a war and he goes to fight against the king of kanchi he goes he goes and goes he fights and there is a great fight and surprisingly in that fight purushottam dev loses very badly and just saving his life he comes back he comes back to puri and he was in a very depressed condition and he thinks ki why how it is so that i lost this battle i should have won it there is no reason i should i why i lost so like this he was contemplating underplating and once in his dream jagannath ji comes and he tells ki uh, my dear king although you wanted to fight for me but you never came came to take blessings of me so that's why you lost this battle so you again have this battle and this time uh, and uh, this time my by my blessings i will come to fight for you and you will win don't worry so then king understands ki oh my lord what a mistake i did i should have taken the blessings of lord jagannath for whom i am going to fight i should have taken the their blessings so and then he comes he begs for the uh, begs forgiveness from lord jagannath he uh, begs apologies and all these things and then he then he goes then he goes uh, again to fight so this time because he had taken the blessings so what happens the uh, so the, so when the army of purushottam dev goes so there were two horsemen one was having a black horse and one one was having a white horse and one was dark skin and one was white skin and like these two horsemen they go with the army of purushottam dev so what happens in one of the villages so one old lady was sitting with a uh, एक मटके में पूरा जो बटर मिल्क रहता है वो लेके वो बैठी थी बेचने के लिए सो दिस सो देन व्हाट हैपेंस सो दिस टू हॉर्समैन हु वर एक्चुअली जगन्नाथ एंड बलदेव सो दे दे वेंट टू दिस लेडी एंड दे टोल्ड कि प्लीज गिव अस दिस बटर मिल्क सो दिस लेडी गिव्स एंड भगवान तो भगवान है वो पूरा पी जाते हैं पूरा मटका भर पी जाते हैं फिर मटका भर पी जाते हैं तो फिर फिर जो दिस एंड पी जाते हैं फिर आगे चलते हैं फिर जब आगे चलते तो बुढ़िया बुलाती है कि हाउ इज इट सो दैट यू आर गोइंग अवे विदाउट गिविंग एनीथिंग बैक टू मी सो देन सो देन दिस टू सोल्जर्स दे रिप्लाई है कि डोंट वरी द किंग इज कमिंग विथ होल इज आर्मी एंड ही विल गिव यू एवरीथिंग so then this lady asked ki what is the guarantee that uh, this king will give something so then uh, this and then uh, this soldier they give one of the rings one of their rings to the lady 
and then they go ahead so this when the king came so the lady again stopped the king and he told kere uh, king two of your soldiers drank my all buttermilk and went ahead and they told that you will give me the fee so then uh, then the king was told are what this old lady is speaking so then this old lady showed this ring to the king and seeing the ring the king understands that it is none other than the, the none other than jagannath ji's so then this time purushottam dev becomes fully confident that this time will win the win the battle and uh, so this so he goes so and these two soldiers they wreak havoc in the battle and defeat everyone sabko pura dhool chata dete hain and the battle is won by purushottam dev and they bring back this ganesh uh, like you can see behind jagannath ji there is a kanchi ganesh so this is that ganesh which was brought by king purushottam dev so this push, so then so the marriage is already broken but so so they bring back that girl from uh, from the king of kanchi and they then pushottam dev tells that i will really get her married to a bhangi to a sweeper so but she is she is a princess how can it be done so what happens during the rath yatra uh, so so during the rath yatra when again the king was sweeping the chariots of jagannath so the minister of the king she uh, the minister is a very intelligent person he takes the takes this girl padmavati and he gives it to the hand of purushottam dev and he tells ki really now you you are a bhangi so you get married so like this they get married and uh, the relationship continues so so we can learn a very important lesson in our life that if if you want to do anything uh, successful in our lives we need the blessings of lord blessings of lord jagannath and we should never forget that blessings of lord jagannath we are being being uh, if you want to do anything successful in our lives so with this i conclude i have taken my 10 minutes also so ayush ayush i, I think time time is up Hey, Krishna. Hey, Krishna. Hey, Krishna. Are there any students who are having any call or any kinds of doubt can ask in the Q and A section? Only five questions would be taken in consideration. Okay. Okay, one question is sent that Lord Chaitanya used to stuff his ears when someone would refer to him as God. So he wants to be known as a devotee, but we worship him as God in the same line as Radha Krishna. So how do we understand that? So actually, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, actually Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is known as a channa avatar or a hidden incarnation because uh, because because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu comes to teach us. how to do bhakti to himself because uh, krishna told in bhagavad gita that sarva dharman paritajya mam ekam sarnam bhaja but no one was taking to devotional service no one no one was doing bhakti so chaitanya mahaprabhu himself he is like a bhakta avatar he is him, krishna himself but he comes as a devotee to teach us how is what is the ideal way of doing devotional service and he taught us by this naam sankirtan and by many other methods so he is and there are many references in uh, many different scriptures which clearly tell that lord chaitanya is the same krishna who is coming uh, and uh, like uh, like in shrimad bhagavatam there is a verse known as krishna varnam tusa akrishnam sango pangastra parsadam yagye sankirtana praye yajanti hi sumedata sumedasa so this is a actually a prediction about lord chaitanya mahaprabhu in shrimad bhagavatam that chaitanya mahaprabhu will come to spread the sankirtan movement and only the intelligent souls they will uh, they will take up this uh, process of uh, chanting of the holy names so we can understand him that he is a hidden incarnation and uh, and there are many references about him in shastras but out of humility chaitanya mahaprabhu used to stuff his ears whenever anyone would refer that you are krishna you are vishnu he would just stuff his ears and you would tell vishnu 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 but actually it is a known fact that he is krishna himself
coming to preach his own bhakti for the for the benefit of all the kali vasis so this is a brief answer i hope the, it answers the question there is one more question uh when somebody is dying we got yeah we got one more question when yeah, somebody yeah. is dying and uh, his external consciousness is completely absorbed in all kinds of terrible bodily symptoms how is it that a devotee remembers krishna what is actually happening that he is able to remember krishna okay uh, when somebody is dying and his external consciousness are com- so actually uh, uh, see, see there are different levels of devotees like there are many very perfected devotees those who have practiced krishna consciousness life long so for them uh, for them it is very easy to remember krishna especially when they are dying and when they are having some terrible disease so uh, so so that's why uh, prabhupad used to tell ki bhajan kara sadhan kara marte jan le har ki if we are doing bhajan and sadhan throughout our life the re- the the test will be at the time of death whether are we able to remember uh, krishna during the during that time and one more thing is that uh, and you are asking what is actually happening that he is able to remember krishna so so when one practices krishna consciousness very sincerely so krishna himself gives that remembrance because krishna is a recipro- reciprocative lord the relationship between a devotee and a lord is that of reciprocation so krishna in reciprocation to the life long service of a devotee he gives his remembrance remembrance at the last time like recently you must must have seen uh, like i don't know how many of you know like recently one of our great sanyasis he left his body his holiness kadam kanan swami maharaj but if you see his situation he was so krishna conscious during his last days also just uh, like he was suffering from cancer and like his body was full with tumors so many tumors but because he was such a elevated devotee life long he had done practice of krishna consciousness so in the last part of his life also he was completely active he was doing kirtans he was doing all lectures and all those having so much pain so we may not be able to do that but if you are sincere life long we are practicing krishna consciousness surely krishna will give his remembrance to us if we life long Uh, do practice so that is that we get like life long if you keep on chanting holy names follow the four regulative principles surely krishna will give and prabhu prabhupad promises that also so that is my answer is there any other question raji uh, there is one question uh, in old days lord jagannath used to come to his devotees when called so why not now okay in old days lord jagannath used to come to his devotees when called why not now actually uh, see the reciprocation between lord and his devotees keep on happening it may not be visible to our uh, uh, to our material eyes but it keep on it keeps on happening with the devotees so there is no dearth of reciprocation now also jagannath ji is reciprocating with this but there is a level of devotees with whom lord reciprocates directly for us with us he reciprocates but that is indirectly you see everything that we are getting in our life is because of lord we are able to breathe because of lord we are able to eat because of lord we are we are able to sustain because of lord so everything lord is doing anyway but but with his very very pure devotees he di- directly reciprocates and he comes when he is called because he is because he is captured by their love so if we develop that kind of love then surely why not krishna will uh, jagannath ji will surely reciprocate if you become sincere and uh, call out to lord surely jagannath ji will reciprocate and har kisi ke jeevan mein kuch na kuch reciprocation hota hai nahi to hum kyu bhakti kar rahe hain kuch na kuch reciprocation aapke jeevan mein bhi hoga and jagannath ji may not directly come but there will be surely be reciprocation yes is that it or that is it project uh, we are pleased very pleased to have you on uh, the session 5 we have uh, 
learned learned so much and uh, everybody have learned so much we would like to thank you prabhuji in our very traditional way by uh, saying hare krishna or hari bol so everyone can unmute their mic and uh, greet prabhuji hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna prabhuji hare krishna hare krishna so i am extremely thankful to everyone for your uh, attentive hearing and i am i would like to always all hello thank the pariksha academy and all the coordinators especially yogesh prabhu who is having such a nice initiative to uh, before rath yatra for all the students so that they become more and more jagannath and krishna conscious and they understand the mood and it is very very necessary nowadays as you can see uh, the things are happening if we don't come to know about our religion then we are actually fooling ourselves so it's a very very nice initiative by yogesh prabhu so thank you very much hare krishna hare krishna and jai jagannath thanks a lot prabhuji for being with us with us and giving a wonderful session hare krishna hari bol prabhu